that hand-painted plate behind glass. For a time, I was very interested in legend and myth. In this poem, I have brought Orpheus and Eurydice into a modern context. My father and I had a great rapport and love. And in this piece, the father figure is central. And though I have taken a lot of liberties regarding his life, I know he doesn't mind. That hand, that hand painted plate behind glass. I don't remember the plate ever being used forever behind glass in the kitchen dresser. Too delicate, father would say, if mother wanted to put cake or biscuits in it. Orpheus and Eurydice, Greek mythology. He always gave the same answer to my childish questioning about the painted figures looking at me from the top half of his reading glasses and me feeling he, was, he looked past me beyond to some unforgotten, unfathomable. At 14, I learned from a library book about the poet and liar player whose beloved said, what is there to complain of but that I have been loved before dying for the second time? The sense I had since childhood that those figures trail the past and cover when my father's last sunset was approaching fast. Someone long ago painted that plate, the news she had to be, her first death, his voice breaking, Orpheus ready to meet his own Eurydice.